That's how fear works. Anytime you have a perception that then potentially threatens something on our self map. So this is our self map and every one of these little dots is something, an idea, a person, uh, uh, an attachment, a favorite color that you have. And when someone says, uh, wow, you know, green has been identified as uh, the color for pedophiles. And you're like, fuck, my favorite color is green. Are you serious? And then you start to worry. Well, um, you have all of these things on your self map that is created in your mind. Again, this is bullshit. This is not really you, but this is how your mind works. That then comes into threat and then you start to create fear. So now there is one thing that you can do to reduce fear in your life. Your answer to creating a fearless life, your answer to dominating fear, and this is everyone's answer, by the way, there is no alternate option for this. There is no other strategy that's gonna work, period. Because this is how fear works. This is how fear is defined. And if you try anything else, you are going to fail. You have to adjust the variables that come together to create your fear in the first place, period. That is the one path to living a fearless life is to change the variables that are processed in your subconscious because you can't just consciously think, oh, I'm just not gonna be afraid of that bear, right? Or I'm not gonna be afraid of, of this project not going well at work, right? You cannot make that discernment. You cannot make that decision. It's a process that happens below your waking awareness in your subconscious and you're simply handed the fear. So you're not helpless though. Because the reality is you can change the variables at your subconscious level that your subconscious uses to then create the fear. And if you change those variables, you change your whole emotional landscape, including reducing and removing fear from your life altogether. And that is not impossible, by the way. They have a computer readout of an fMRI of an ancient, uh, well, not ancient, but an older master, um, Master Mathieu Ricard, who is a French uh, Buddhist monk who proved laying in an fMRI machine while they played him loud noises unexpectedly in his headphones that he has removed his startle reflex, which is the most quickest, uh, primitive fear reaction that we all have. Boom, thunder strike outside. Whoa, we jump a little bit. He doesn't have that anymore because he has removed his fear response from himself, period. And you can do it. I've done it. There are other people who have done it. You don't have to believe me. We can just look at the fMRI scans from Mathieu Ricard to be able to prove that a human being can do it. You can do it. Here's, here's, that's, that's the message I'm here for you to give. You can do it. You can remove fear from your life. You can live a fearless life. It is possible. Whether or not you believe that I can do it, I'm telling you, you can do it. Well, what, how you can do it, how you do it is to adjust the variables that your subconscious uses to create the fear in the first place. Now, there are two options there. One, you can attack every perception that comes through your mind. You can attack every perception that filters through your mind that could be a threat to you and analyze your way out of it or reappraise your way out of it to say, oh, that's not really a threat or I don't really have to be afraid of that spider or I don't really have to be afraid of that snake as long as I don't get within striking distance of it, et cetera. That is a constant, never-ending job, and just a hunch, you're probably gonna run out of energy to do that. One, scientifically speaking, you only have a certain amount of energy every day to be able to do that, and two, it's a constant, never-ending battle that you will not ever be able to cease doing, because perceptions come through your mind constantly as your environment changes. You're gonna have to address that perception in your mind every time something comes up that makes you a little nervous. Every time. And so adjusting your perception can work in certain instances, right? You're standing at the top of the bungee tower and you're like, holy shit, and this is how you do it. This is how you get off of the bungee tower. You're like, you reason your way through it. You're like, I know that these bungees are rated for much heavier than I am. And I know no one has ever died here at this location and they do things right and they're really good and this isn't a third rate outfit and I'm going to really enjoy this when I'm done and I just have to have that leap of faith. 
you reason through your perception because your fear could be huge at that point, looking down at such a great height. I mean, that's a natural inborn. Babies have that. Babies have fear of great differences in height, right? It's just wired into us because it's a body protection thing. It's a self-protection thing. And so you reason your way through it with adjusting your perception. And that's one way to conquer that instance of fear until you simply say, fuck it, and let's go. And you, you jump in, right? I did that with the, the Amazon uh, River in well, Peru, by the way. I was like, there are piranha in there. Fuck it. <laughs> right over the edge of the canoe into the water. It was awesome. The other side of that, the other option that you have is the more permanent path to fearlessness. And that is rewriting your self map and mass and seeing yourself as a different person and seeing yourself as the true existence that you are beneath all of this mind's illusion of, of you, this, this mind's illusion of self that is there to help create your emotions and protect you, right? But that we know is not the real you. And this is critical because if you want the single, solitary, guaranteed to work path on reducing fear from your life, you adjust this thing over here. You adjust your mind's sense of self. You get a deeper understanding of who and what you are and the things that can touch you and the things that can't touch you. And I'm telling, I'm telling you right now, there's absolutely nothing that can touch you at the deepest level. There's nothing that can threaten you at the deepest level of your existence. And once you find that, then there is nothing in the world that can harm you or damage you or devalue you or threaten you. And that is the path of living a fearless life because your perception comes in and then the perception has to have a threat to self, a threat to something in your self map. Something has to be available to potentially be threatened or devalued for you to have a fear response. But at the point, maybe this thing is a lot cleaner than it used to be or a lot bigger than it used to be, a lot more infinite than it used to be. Now you're talking about the perceptions that used to bother you, that used to, to create fear within you, can no longer touch you. 